Hello, and welcome back to Bard's Tale 4. What were we doing? Um... Hmm? I'm not quite sure if we talked to anyone. Let's start with you. Friends! Come closer! I will do anything, anything to sell you the tools of the fighter's trade. Sword, axe, mace, spear, bow, you name it, I've got it, and I won't be undersold. And, no, it's not dwarven work or elven steel, but it gets the job done. Is that the other brother or...? Let's make a deal. I think so, I think the other one had... Do you need me? Yeah. Sure, maybe the other one had the uh, armors. Would you like this one? Intelligence and strength. Mm. But less constitution. Take half damage from blood for blood. Sure. You'll be using that a lot. Okay, Merci. you. I have no idea what you're using. Perhaps a... nope. You have a long sword. Okay. Well, what can I do for that you? That gives me an idea. What's that? But Yes. I want your is better. Oh no, we actually have. I don't mm. know. Should give me this one. Um, okay, thank you. It's a matter of pride, you see. I came here to the Inchriac, boasting to my brother that I could make more coins selling swords to the Ficti than he could sell in the armor. Well, neither of us is selling much of anything, but I will not be beat. So I'm ready to deal, friends, on everything in my stock. What do you say? Will you help me beat my brother? I'm pretty sure they have the same. Good luck. And have a nice same... day. Don't buy from my brother. Lines, just like just one speaks about. What the other one speaks about? Weapon, weapons. Meeting an Einar fisherman or trader, one might think him a cheerful, easygoing fellow, always ready to share a story and a drink. But though these yellow-haired giants do their best to make one forget their blood-soaked past, they themselves have not forgotten it, and are only waiting for us to let down our guard before they return to their old ways of raiding, ravage, and ruin. The Einar worship dark gods, male gods of slaughter and savagery, and female gods of seduction and perversion, and when it in the throes of unholy ecstasy during the worship of these gods, their men descend into bestial frenzy, becoming berserk slayers who kill without mercy or let, while their women become shape-changing sirens who lure men into the sea to drown and die in their slippery embrace. I'm pretty sure they are nice. They are nice. I... Caitlin, is that? It is. Oh, Caitlin, I have. Uh, no, no, thou art not she. Forgive me, most revered elf. I mistook you for my love. You, you don't know her by chance, uh, Caitlin of House Alvieth. Uh, no. No, I suppose not. Oh, forgive me. Who is Caitlin? Caitlin? She who hath won my heart, a fair maiden of the she, who I did glimpse in the wood some months past, and whose face burns in my dreams so that I may not sleep. Without her, I shall die. And so... I wait here where she bid me stay, hoping she may one day return. And to prove my love is true, I have each day written a ballad for her. 
and shall sing them to her when again we meet. Okay, what do you have to sell? I must not starve ere Caitlin returns, so I will sell these things to survive. They mean nothing to me anyway. Without my love, nothing does. How may I help? Not be a dresser. Or are we? No, I'm training in dresser cap. If within range of a channeled enemy attack, you may move for free. Even if move is going to cool down. This may happen once per turn. Huh. Sure. That's worse than what we have. The wound of peace. Let's learn some new... I won't buy it. Thank you. If thou seest the Lady Caitlin, uh, tell her, yes. please, that I wait for her. Sure. Oh, we have sword and you that. Eh? You have a long sword, a berserk. Okay. Eh? Mm -hmm. Here. What was that? What now? And I think it's all. That's At your sword, service. But you're using a club. Oh, we have one sword. What do you need? And it's better than what we have. So there you go. Mm hmm. I. Would you rather have more constitution and strength? I think. Yeah. Um, wait, but I'm pretty sure we didn't speak to that guy over here either. Hi. I've no time to talk. So many of our sons and daughters are wounded. Understandable. Your sons? Father Rife's hunters. They guard the village and bring game from the forest. The southerners killed many. Your daughters? Spear daughters of the sacred grove. They protect our holiest places and defend the wood from interlopers. It was they who took the brunt of the southerners' attack. What happened here? The demon ghost and his cursed followers swept through the wood like a scythe. The hunters and the spear daughters did their best to stop them from reaching the heart of the forest, but none could stand against them. The fiends were death incarnate. Okay, I, as I stay well. Yeah, and as I understand, oh, well, oh, this will be precisely the way which we need to go. Hello. Who comes? Me. Ah, strangers, welcome to our most cherished place, where all the fathers, mothers, and matriarchs of our tribe are buried. Be respectful here. As you would among your own honored dead. Tell us of your honored dead. Most fifty who die are set upon Grandmother River's bosom and float away to their reward. But the greatest of us we cannot bear to let go. And so we bury them here among the roots of our ancestor tree and pray to them for advice and intercession with the gods. Does it work? Why? I am the village arborist, who tends to the tree and the roots and the dead. Whenever a father or mother or matriarch dies, it is the arborist who embalms them and finds a place for them among the roots. Thank you. May oak and hazel watch over you. Steve's. Is that someone special? No. Interesting. Now, which way do you want me to go? All the way back? 
not even the fish are safe to eat. No, that's interesting. If they really want, you need to go all the way back to this. I doubt. Hmm. I'm for going after those southern devils. Who's with me? Good luck. It's that wreath brought the sickness with it. Oh, interesting. Let me guess. Exactly. Um... Was me sending the rogue, the dwarves, sending him to a certain death? Do anyone else thinking they can lead my daughter astray? Just look at the pouch above the, my door, and you best be thinking again. I'll do you just like that last rat bastard, and I'll toss your corpse on the on that isle of bones, just like his. Hello? Oh, that bout. Okay. I think your house is gonna burn down. It just continues. Praise Ultak for the bravery of our sons and daughters. Well, they are. Uh, from what I heard, they're most likely dead. Listen, sometimes it's better to be a coward than a fearless hero. Outsiders! <laughs> yeah, I hope you don't mind me doing this. Um, yeah, that looks exactly like we want to go. I would just like to look around a little bit around here. Oh. Hi. Welcome to the quarry. Don't start trouble. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. Okay. You do look pretty strong. Aye. Fell into a magic cauldron when I was but a babe. Had the strength of ten ever since. Where's your little friend? Be nice, friends. Luckily, none of them minds the current stealing everything I can find. I saw a shrine down there. That is, if we can find the way down there. Ah. We meet again. We do indeed. If only I'd known you were traveling here. Black Hawk and I could have brought you here in a jiffy. Where is Black Hawk? He's up at the top of the quarry, uh, but invisible, of course. Yeah. Don't like to startle the natives, you know. That makes sense. So good to see you again. Well met, music lover. 
Who are you? I'm Pezzi. I look out for Melanie. If you'd like to hear her sing something special, you just talk to me. Who is Melanie? Melanie's the finest singer north of Fedekaren, with the biggest repertoire. <laughs> if there's a song you like, she probably knows it. Okay, we would like to make a request. What would you like to hear? I have no idea. Um... Youngling. What? Thanks. She'll sing that one next. I have no idea how to read that, I'm sorry. Enjoy the music! As chief chef to King Aid the plate of Brexit, I have been asked to cook everything from an ant-cake to a zebra cool. And so have learned something of how to prepare and make portable the rarest, most exotic and most dangerous of animals. Recently, it occurred to me that this knowledge would be of use to those intrepid adventurers who face these beasts in the wild and are often left with a corpse they don't know what to do with. Thus, this primer on butchering and preparing monsters. Bon appetit! Well, hello! Would you like to hear a song? Ask Peza to put it on the list. What can you sing? I can sing every song you know, heroes. But Peza takes the requests. Talk to him if you want to hear something special. Who is Peza? Peza looks out for me. He may be a bit snarky, but there's no one I trust more in this world. Who are you? I'm Melanie, a lover of music and a singer of songs. Been making my living with my voice since I was knee high to a dandelion. Okay. I'll Goodbye. Leave my Welcome to the quarry, friends. What'll you have to drink? Mm, this is a quarry. Well, it was back when the Badish came north and tried to take the Inshriach for their own. Harlan's Folly, that big ruin off to the east. All that rock was dug out of here. But we Fichte don't build with stone. <laughs> Nothing you can't leave behind at a moment's notice. So we've made a drinking pit out of it. A better use by far, if you ask me. What's the local specialty? Ah, that would be stag swift wine. It'll make you grow antlers and run through the wood. I think we do need it. What do you have to drink? Here's what I've got. Um, well, for sure I'll take your recipes. Ooh. Well, uh, can I just... Can I have just one? Uh, split. Cool. Thank you. Open wine. I mean, just give me all your food. You do need a lot of that stuff. Uh, I can give you shoes. Mm, maybe this. If I knew where uh, it is. Yeah, sure, this could be as well. And this, and this. Thank you. Tomorrow we may die, eh? To be sure, humankind cannot entirely be blamed for failing to turn against the farmer here. For it is known that the Fahmahir created them by raising them from the apes. They did, however, create humanity with free will. For where is the glory of being worshipped if the worshipper has no choice in the matter? So why then, when confronted with the evil nature of their gods, did the humans not exercise that free will and rebel against them? Why did they not side with we of the old races, with dwarves and the elves, to defeat and drive out the nations who meant to enslave us all? Because I contend they believe themselves gods in their own right. Given power beyond their ability to control, and fed a fable of manifest destiny by the Fanhair, humanity believed itself the rightful inheritors of all the realms. 
certainly they knew they were the slaves of the time here, but like how slaves feel superior to field slaves, they convinced themselves that subservience to the most powerful of the gods would still make them superior to all other races as their masters sought to subjugate. And it is this poisonous combination of sheep-like weakness and blind arrogance that makes humanity dangerous, even unto this day. When their gods are banished and they have long forgotten them, you may see them as foolish and harmless now, but they are not. Given the proper goal, they could be made to rise again, and woo the tide, the old race who is asleep, and they do. They must be watched and vigilantly. Hey, friend. How would you like to answer a riddle? Sure. If you get it right, I'll give you 50 skiat. Every time you get it wrong, you give me 50 skiat. All right? All right. Who are you? Lily Piper will do for now. I live by my wits. Always have, always will. Now, are you going to play or not? Bring it on. Tell us your riddle. Excellent. Here's the question. You're having a drink with a lexiconographer, and he asks you how many numbers there are between one and seven. What's your answer? You are having a drink with a lexiconographer, and he asks you how many numbers there are between one and seven. None. Well done! The lexiconographer was thinking alphabetically, and alphabetically there are no numbers between one and seven. Here's your 50 skiat. Now, how about you buy me a drink? Oh, that's what the author was supposed to... I mean, ah... I took it literally. What numbers, what numbers between one and seven? Between one and seven you had end. So long, sport. Not Doesn't matter, we got it right. That's just the story of my life. And this is where I'm gonna end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.